Hey there, Chris from Fanfield Park. Yesterday we launched our crowdfunder. It was an amazing day. It's just the first day of the next 28 days of our crowdfunder. So thank you everyone who shared, donated or supported. Today, we want to start our daily vlog that we're going to run for the rest of the month. Here's what we're getting up to. So our morning routine every morning is coming out, especially on these hot days and opening up these sort of makeshift propagation spaces, um, if I don't break them. Um, and so until the polytunnel's done, this is where we are propagating. We've got sort of three of these set up around the farm, um, just sort of makeshift at the moment. I mean, folding these back whilst it's hot because we missed one day and it got up to like 40 degrees in here. Um, and you can actually see at the back, we've lost quite a few spinach seedlings in there. Um, so yeah, our daily task, or one of our daily tasks, is to get in here and, and water all the seeds. And at the moment, with the water situation, I'm just using um, one of these sprayers, which is brilliant. They're really cheap off Amazon um, or, or anywhere, really. They're quite cheap to get hold of. They come deliver quite quickly, and this one holds two litres of water, um, so you can just pump it up and give these a nice, fine sort of spray and keep them germinating nice. So in here we've got chard, this is broccoli, um, loads of spinach, loads more chard, um, and over this side is uh, loads of herbs, so everything you can see popping up here is coriander, and there's more rosemary, coriander, thyme, basil's popping up like mad, um, inside as well, and one of our other propagation spaces. And in the one on the right, I can give you a little sneak peek, a lot of the potted up seedlings in there as well so they need a good water um we're leaving this one down because it's not getting as warm and then we're having to do the same over the back and in our propagation space inside and our third one as well so today our base rails for our polytunnels are getting delivered um if you watch the farm tour video it explains that we are waiting to have base rails to put the skin the plastic on of the onto these polytunnels today they are arriving so hopefully Fingers crossed, tomorrow we can fit the plastic, which means today we need to get these doors, door frames in and the doors built, lined and ready to go. So we've got the first post in on both sides. So these polytunnels, this is a 16 foot wide by 60 foot long polytunnel um, and they have double doors at both ends. We've got the first post in. Um, for which is the main sort of bracing post that the first door will go off of and we've got that in at the end up there as well so that's nicely in we've had to postcrete them into the ground and they attach to the bars with these sort of I think they're called p-clips um, up there so we just need to put the second of those in which is why Emily's not on this video she's gone to pick up some um, postcrete so that we can get this post up attached and a frame will go across and the doors will sit in and we've got to do both of those today and the ones at the other end to get ready. the easiest of tasks getting the doors on getting them level and similar distances obviously the floor of, of, of well the ground of farms isn't perfectly level um so that's been a, a little bit of a struggle but we're pretty much there now on these front ones um and the reason we're trying to get them done so quickly is because the other post needs needs setting in concrete ahead of fitting the plastic tomorrow so we'll uh 
work hard to get that that set um, and then a beam goes across the top and then we've got to do the back ones <laughs> So good progress really, we got the front doors on, um, concreted in, but a bit of a frustrating end to the day. So we were due to have the base rails, we were doing all of this so we could get the base rails on to have the plastic cover done tomorrow. Um, the base rails came, sort of, there was eight packages but only six arrived. One is like 100 miles one way and one's 100 miles the other for some reason they've ended up at depots across the country which is fun um but credit where credit's due one of the parcels they're going to replace and get it on a, a courier for saturday obviously it's good friday tomorrow so it's a tough one and no couriers are working so they're going to try and get it to us to a saturday um because if we don't get the skin on this one on saturday the wind's going to pick up and it's going to be yeah probably Can't a couple of weeks so <laughs> kind of frustrating a frustrating end to the day we were going to get the second set of doors done but there's no rush now we can do those tomorrow um take the time get all the tape on yep nice. i guess that's farming <laughs>